In the previous class, we learned about multiple areas, the configurations. We were able to ping between uh, one end of the topology to the other end of the topology. We went through overview of OSPF. That is how it went in the previous class. But I also mentioned in one of the class that within an area, within an area, you can expect similar topology. We call it as OSPF database. Within an area, we will have identical map. We call it as OSPF database. OSPF database. The identical database. But don't expect throughout the autonomous system. Here we don't have any number to identify an autonomous system. As I said earlier, area zero surrounded by non-backbone area forms one autonomous system. So throughout the autonomous system, the database will not be same. Uh, one reason is you will be doing summarization. The other reason is we got different type of advertisements. Some advertisements are local to the area, which means what the other area cannot learn those advertisements. As a result, the topology table cannot be same. See? So some advertisements are global. Some advertisements are within an area. The advertisement in OSPF are called as LSAs, link state advertisement. We have various types of LSAs. We will be going in depth in coming days. So, as I said earlier, some LSAs are local to area. Some are global to all areas. All those that are global will be seen identical in the entire autonomous system. But the rest are local to the area. So the topology table or the OSPF link state database which is also called as LSDB. They are identical for all the routers within an area. That's one important point that I want to convey. Secondly, in the previous class, I also said, whenever you have a serial wire, they're considered as point to pack. Of course, it's a point-to-point -point network, and OSPF will also consider it as point-to-point -point network type. Point-to-point -point network type. Today, I said our focus is on network type. Types in OSPF. point-to-point -point network type. If you simply have a serial wire, it is going to be point-to-point. -point. When we have multiple routers connected through a switch, you cannot connect through a serial wire. Have you ever seen any serial 
ports on a switch. No. If there is a switch with serial port, then it cannot be a serial. Correct. Serial is one connecting to another, not many. Serial can be only always point to point. So when you have a, a layer to switch, definitely you're going to have an Ethernet wire. This is point to point and this is multipoint. Uh, the multipoint are called as network type broadcast. Repeating again, point to point network type is also called as point to point. OSPF network type, point to point. Multi point OSPF is called as broadcast network type. Broadcast is the network type. Now, what if I just got two router? And I'm connecting to each other using a Ethernet F0 slash 0, F0 slash 0. I'm connecting via Ethernet between RK and RL. It is an Ethernet wire. Though it's an Ethernet wire, it is looking like a point to point. Why? Because we got only two routers. We don't have any switch. But you know, YSPF will not accept it as a point to point. According to OSPF, if you have Ethernet, whether it is a fast Ethernet or gig Ethernet or whatever, if you have an Ethernet as a layer 2 encapsulation protocol, OSPF is going to call this one also as a broadcast network type. So you got point to point network type broadcast network type. These two are more widely seen. There is also one more called NBMA network type in which there are five different NBMA types, modes, which we will focus later. Let us finish what we have seen so far in depth. There are point to point and broadcast in what way they are different why i have to why should i learn these network types in order to in order to know the difference you need to learn this and you look and you know the difference you can make some difference other than the default by tuning it for example for us, I have selected Roge. Am I right? French. Red is called Roge in French. We have Rashega from France. Yes, sir. Roge. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I learned from my elder daughter. She was learning Roge. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is two routers for you and me it looks like a point-to-point -point connection but according to ospf because we are using fast ethernet it is a broadcast network type what if i do not like this default network type i don't like i want this to be broad point-to-point uh, -point. I don't like OSPF calling this as broadcast. I want OSPF to call this as point to point. 
I want OSPF to see this link as a point to point link other than uh, instead of broadcast. Why? Why it is so important? In point to point, only one multicast address is involved. If it is broadcast, If it is broadcast, you know, we need two multicast address. And six. Four. Right. This is one reason why I don't like this. See, definitely we need this to address if we are really having multipoint. When I don't have real multipoint, when I have just two routers, I don't like this to be considered as broadcast. If it considers as broadcast, there are, there's, there's going to be two, Mac, uh, two multicast routers involved in sending and receiving the updates. I want this to be a point to point. You can change it, you know. I'm just telling you the default is broadcast. But if you're very sure, if you're very sure that in no way, in no in any future, I'm going to connect a switch here and I'm going, I'm, if, if you're very sure that you're not going to do these things, you're, you're very sure that you're not going to have a switch, and you're not going to connect the third router to the same subnet. If you're 100% sure, even if you configure, even if you connect a switch, you should not have another router in the same VLAN. In the same VLAN. If you are very sure, then you can go and tell this interface, interface, I know you consider this as a broadcast network type, but I'm telling you, I'm the owner, you need to listen to me. I'm telling you, you are point to point. You can go and configure this on the interface and the routers will listen. As soon as you make it as a point to point, there's going to be only one multicast address. Yeah. There's no need for more than one multicast address in point to point. So this is the reason why we are learning this network types. When you learn the network types, you can go and change the default network type to whatever the type that you deserve you like to have it. Now, why it takes more than one multicast if it is broadcast? Why it takes more than one multicast address if, if the network type is broadcast. The reason is, whenever the network type is broadcast, there is going to be a designated router. Among this five router, one of the router is going to be elected as a designated router. designated router the chosen one the one which is going to be a mediator for all that's what designated router means 
why there is need for one person why when there is a project see uh, if, it, if god willing the entire congo police department will be trained by me so in networking so when i get this project what i do i hire more people i give them different different responsibility and i choose one guy from that group and i say see anything i will ask you so you need to make sure that the others under you finishes the task on time so everyone will report to that guy and they finish their task they will report and if there is any service chain needed that guy will be doing that what is service chain when shake says and uh, this particular module you know uh, if you can give to mr gaurav he will he will be the right person then what i do fine no problem shake i'll speak to mr gaurav so i convey the things what mr shake told to me to mr gaurav and uh, he says okay fine i'll take care of the shakes uh, module then uh, can you please ask shake to do my module in exchange it shake can do very well hmm, no problem so as a mediator as a designated router i i act so shake and the gaurav they can't talk to each other because the project was assigned to them by me so whenever they need some change they come to me and i be the mediator between them to exchange the information between them like eyes likewise out of this five router one router is going to be the designated router and to this designated router everyone will report if this has got an update if router a has got some update to send it won't send to b c d it won't send it to all of them a will send it to only alpha mr dr no the alpha will take the update from a synchronize its own database and then it will also distribute the updates down to b c and d so b c and d learns the updates given by a via the designated router d sorry alpha why are the designated router alpha why do we need to have this otherwise there will be confusion otherwise there will be confusion duplication it is same like what we had in ibgp scenario there in ibgp a route learned from one ibgp neighbor is not given to another ibgp neighbor here we don't have this that, that rule here but the problem is same the problem there why we had that rule in in ibgp so that there won't be duplication of update if everyone gives everything then there will be duplication a will give to everyone and c will think poor d may not know it so c will give it which already a has given 
and for D, it is going to be a duplicator. To avoid this unnecessary flooding of uh, unnecessary updates, duplication, we need to elect one leader, Mr. Designated Router, to which all these routers will send the update whenever there is an update. And that router will distribute it to the rest of the routers. That's the role of decimal router. See, in a point-to-point -point network, you no need that. In, in a point-to-point -point network, there is only two router. If it sends, it will go only to this router. There is no, there is no one else to send a duplicate copy. If you have only some another router, third router, there, there is chance of a duplicate copy. That is why there is no need for designated router. If there is no need for designated router, then there is no need for two multicast routers. Why? The designated routers will listen to 224.0.0.6 address. When I say designated router, it will also include a backup designated router. Both will be listening to this address. Please understand, when I say designated router, it includes both alpha and D. So both are tuned. As soon as they are elected as a backup designated router and designated router, they are tuned to listen to this multicast address 224.0.0.6. So what happens? These routers A, B, and C, whenever there is an update, they will send it to only 224.0.0.6. Why? Because all other routers, all other, see that's the name they have given, other, designated other. The other. Designated other. All the other routers, all the other routers will be listening to 224.0.0.5. You know, that's right, no? By default, OSPF will be listening to 224.0.0.5. So, if A sends an update to 224.0.0.5, it will go to everyone. That won't be good. To avoid that, there is a second address, 224.0.0.6, given to DR and BDR. You and me no need to worry about it, my friends. As soon as the DR BDR is elected, they will own this address. Dot six. Two twenty four zero zero six will be owned by Alpha and D. So, if A wants to send an update, to which address it will send? Maroon. Um, sending address. No. Sending address. Sending. If there is an update, if A wants to send an update, it will send to 224.0.0.6. Only when you send it to 6, the DRs can hear it because they are listening to 6. So DRs now learn it. And DRs will be using 5 address to send. When, it's, when it uses 5 address and send the update, it will go to B and C. Whatever A sent, it was already 
reflecting in dr and bdr now it is also reflecting in b and c which is dr other so we have learned the purpose of dr and bdr we have understood why we need to multicast address and now you know why i have to change the network type as point to point if i am if i am having just two routers when you have just two routers it's unnecessary to elect one dr and one bdr actually that is what will happen because it is a broadcast network type by default on ethernet wire there will be a dr and bdr it is unnecessary it is not necessary to have a designated router and a backup designated router when you just got two routers. So better go and change the network type as point to point so that there won't be a DR, BDR election. In point to point, there is no DR, BDR election. Now, in a broadcast environment, there is a DRBDR. How is this DRBDR elected? You know, in a point-to-point -point routers, whether you have a point-to-point -point wire or you might have configured an Ethernet wire as a point-to-point -point network type, So Ethernet we can draw like this straight and uh, serial wire we always uh, draw a zigzag uh, line. In any way it should be a point to point. If it is a point to point, the priority is zero. The OSPF interface priority is zero. zero what does it mean it means that no drbdr election no drbdr election if the priority is zero that router will not participate in election so by default the priority is going to be zero if it is serial wire or if you will change the Ethernet wire into a point to point, the priority will automatically switch from one to zero. The default is one on Ethernet wire. The priority by default on the broadcast link is one. So now I got uh, multiple routers. I got many routers. R1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The default priority on all the port is 1. If it is, broadcast. When the priority is a tie, then DR cannot be elected. So, let's say I put priority 10 here. And I put priority here 5. So, what happens is this router will become a designated router. And the second lowest priority router will become the backup designated router. So very first thing that OSPF will compare to elect a router as a designated router is priority.
Now, what if the priority is a tie? What is the tie in the priority? Now, what it is going to do is it's going to select the router ID and compare it. I was talking to you how the router ID is selected. So let's say router one has got router ID 1.1.1.1. Likewise, router two will have 2.2.2.2.2. Five will have 5.5.5.5. Six will have 6.6.6.6. So they are all now going to send hello packet. In the hello packet, they compare the router IDs. The Lubeck interface address is taken as the router ID. So they all compare the router ID and router six says, ah, I'm the winner. You know why? I'm having bigger router ID than all of you. Actually, you know, that is not the story. First, what router six will say, hey, I'm the BDR. And then, there is no one now claiming DR. So router six will, after saying I am DR, router six will wait approximately around 10 seconds. And then it will say, okay, since no one is DR, I'm promoting myself as DR. So what I'm going to say is, It won't say I'm DR in the first place. First, it will say I'm a BDR. Then it will promote itself as DR if there is no other DR. If there is no one else promoting. Sorry. Now, this router will become a designated router. No, backup designated router. Because this is the second biggest router ID. So this election process will get over in maximum of 40 seconds maximum as we know eigrp sorry ospf sends hello packet every 10 seconds that time is 40 seconds that's the maximum within that the settlement should be done So we have seen two network types in OSPF. One is point to point, another one is multi point. Multi points are called as broadcast. You can go and change this default network type if you want, if you want, if you wish. In productions, you may see people going under the interface and they'll say. IP OSPF network type point to point. Why they do that? Because they, they do not want DR BDR election. They make the IP OSPF network type as point to point on an interface so that the priority will go to zero and there won't be a DR BDR election. If you just got two router connected back to back via a Ethernet wire, it is unnecessary to have a designated router and backup designated. There's no need, there's no need for a DRBDR. So, we will manually go to the interface and make it as point. Next is multi-point. In multi-point, in order to avoid duplication of LSAs, if, if duplication of LSA is done, then loop will be happening. Not to avoid this, in order to avoid this. There will be one designated router and there will be one backup designated router. Designated router will respond to 
all the queries, designated router will take the update and distribute the updates to others. Whereas backup designated router will be keep on learning the updates, but it won't respond to any query or distribute the update as long as DR is available. When DR goes down, the backup designated router will promote itself as a designated router. And one of the other router whose router ID is higher or a priority should be higher. If not, if the priority is higher, then router ID is higher, will be becoming BDR. So all these things we have seen today, any question? Sir, one question I have. Uh, as you said that first, if the priority is tied, so it will look for the router ID and then first video election process will start, right? Hmm. It will happen and then it will wait for the updates from other routers hmm. in the network and then it will be uh, promoted as a DR. Hmm. So in in normal scenario, if it is a, uh, we have set the priority. So every time in, let's say I have one switch and I have five routers connected. Hmm. So this process, PDR process selection will, be, will start first. Yeah. Or we have to configure manually. No, 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 no. As soon as you configure OSPF, mm -hmm. the BDR DR will start. See. So first the BDR election process will happen. Yeah, yeah. Now, if all the routers are started, if all the routers started at the same time, then they compare the priority. If priority is a tie, they compare the router ID and the one with the bigger router ID becomes the DR. But if you're configuring, for example, you configure on router one, what is the router ID of router one? One, one, one. One, 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 one. Excellent. Now you configure router one and then move to router two by the time you finish router 2, it is already one minute gone. So what will happen, you know, on router 1? Router 1 cannot wait for a long time. As soon as you configure OSPF, it will start the BDR election. It will start the DR election. First, it will say, I am the BDR. And no one else is now running OSPF because you are still logging into router 2. No one is going to say, I am this and that. So router one will say, fine, I am going to be a DR now. And it will declare itself as DR. Actually speaking, there is no one participated in the election because no, none of the routers are configured. Even though this router has got the lowest, prior, lowest router ID, this will be a DR when router 65432 comes up. Why? Because the DR is not is non preemptive. Once it is elected, it is elected. So when router one goes down, then the BDR, maybe router six was a BDR because of the highest router ID. Now the BDR will become a DR. Router six will become a DR and 5 will become a BDR. So one thing you need to remember, DR is non-preemptive. DR, BDR is non-preemptive. What else? But what, how to configure the priority? You know, uh, because IP this OSPF is uh, priority. priority. Go under the interface and okay. say IP okay. OSPF priority okay. and give the priority number. I'll show you those things in the demo. Okay. Any other question? Right. If not, 